Welcome back to Saint Auto. Remember, don't try anything you see me do in these videos. You could end up burnt, bruised, or bleeding too. But if you do do anything that he does, you could end up saving this much money and giving it to your wife so she could go buy a purse. Bye. If you're watching this video, it's because you're awesome. And you're about to learn something that makes you even more awesome. In this video, we are installing these wind divisors in a third generation Prius. Now, you can use this same video as instructions for installing wind divisors on any generation Prius and many other vehicles as well. And there will be a link in the description for this product. I've already washed the area that we will be working on and dried this area with a microfiber towel. Then you take your first visor and hold it up against where you're going to put it to make sure you have the correct one. Put that just above the area. Oh, and when washing the area, I washed at least six inches above and below the area where I'll be working. Now that we know for sure we have the two pieces that fit on this side, we're gonna release them from the plastic and check to make sure that the tape is on here. You can see one of the reasons why you can see this is, this is a good product. They're using 3M, which is very good quality adhesive. And release the other one. When I lay them on top here, I'm putting them upside down so we're not touching anything on this side. Now we're going to take a little alcohol and we're going to do a last minute thorough cleaning of the spot. We're doing this in the shade. And even in the shade you, can, shade, you can see that the alcohol dries almost immediately. And even after washing, thorough washing, see what came off with the alcohol? That nasty stuff would have been between your adhesive and the paint. This way, getting all that stuff off, will ensure that these stay stuck to the vehicle for a very long time. There. Look at all that we got. And that was after thorough washing and drying with a microfiber towel. It's almost instantly dry, so we're ready to install already. Now we must remove. You have to use your fingernail get this off. Look, there's a handy spot right there. Okay. Now it's time for a moment of truth. We have to get this right the first time because once it's on there, it's on there. So I try to make my let my fingers touch here and back here. Give me an idea of where I'm at. I've got my thumbs up underneath the edges here so I can and bow it slightly. This is the scary part. Just let me get one shot. And we're on there. Let's do a dry run with the rear one, make sure we're not going to interfere. Let's 
room. Yes, we do have room. Okay. It's time to peel this. There we go. And they are both on there. And let's try opening and closing the doors to make sure there's no interference here. Perfect. Now you just repeat the process on the other side. Till the next video, get off the couch and get dirty. Welcome to St. Auto. We're so glad you're here. We don't just do repairs and tool reviews. Bienvenida a St. Auto. Nosotros no solamente hacen reparaciones de autos. We also film hot rods and mod rods, and project cars, classic cars, antiques. Nosotros también filmea autos antiguas, mod rods, hot rods, cualquiera. We also like to take you with us to the car shows and the cruise ins. So make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell so you don't miss anything. Me la gustaría llevarte con nosotros a las cruces y cursos. Entonces, empuja ese botón y toca la campaña para que no pierda nada.